when you are in love and you have your love with you, that's your home. <laughs> the German side of it. <laughs> Because Swiss people, they do understand German very well, but they don't like the language. Can you say that you feel at home in Switzerland? No. Hello, Leute. Hola a todos. We are Claudia and Jan, a Spanish-German international couple living here in Zürich. And since we are experts ourselves, we sometimes ask ourselves how are other experts are actually feeling here living in Switzerland. And therefore, we want to go to the streets today of Zürich and ask other experts if they are feeling actually at home here living in Switzerland. So if you are interested in this kind of content, please hit the like button for this video and subscribe to our channel to help us creating more content like this for you. With this said, let's go. Okay, so today we have here with us Lucia and Simone. Nice to meet you. And where are you from? Nice to meet you. From Italy. Great. And do you feel at home here? Yeah, absolutely. But you know, when you are in love and you have your uh, love with you, that's your home. That's the answer. <laughs> that's a very cute answer. <laughs> I like that very much. Is there any boundary when you came to Switzerland which make you not feel at home? No, I have to say Switzerland with us was very welcoming. Mm. We were super happy to come here and live in such a beautiful place uh, you know you have a lot of opportunities in terms of work it's super international you got to meet many people from many places it's an interesting experience what's your name Camilo great and where are you from I'm from Colombia or nationalized German great so uh, how long do you already live here in Switzerland 14 months 14 months yeah very precise answer huh? the German side of it <laughs> <laughs> okay great do you feel at home in Switzerland um, in Zurich, yes. Outside of Zurich, no. And how does that come? I think Zurich particularly is a city with a high quota of foreigners. Mm -hmm, I understand. And therefore that makes you feel that there is a higher tolerance for different cultures. As soon as you leave the city, then you find like a different vibe in terms of the country. Francesca. Very nice to meet you, Francesca. And where are you from? I'm from Peru. And how long do you live already in Switzerland? One month ago. Oh, one month you live in Switzerland. Yes. And do you feel already at home here? Yes, I really, yes. This is my home now. I have family here and it's good for me. You could say you feel already at home, even though after you just live here one month. Yes, yes, I feel at home. Yes. Oh, wow, that's very cool. What's your name? Uh, Betty. Nice to meet you. And where are you from? Canada, but I'm originally born from Taiwan. Ah, oh, well, born in Taiwan and grown up in Canada. Do you feel at home in Switzerland? I think after 12 years, I have to say yes. Um, yeah. You have to say yes or you do feel at home? Um, there are things that I feel like I'm home. Things that I appreciate, things I don't appreciate. I think it's, I think even for Swiss, it will be the same thing. In general, I do feel like home in Switzerland. After how many years did you feel at home in Switzerland? Uh, I have to say five, six years. Um, so I think the landscape and the environment is very different compared to 12 years ago when I first arrived. When I first arrived, you can barely see any Asians walking on the street. So I would literally have people turning back to look at me, asking me questions. So you do, you really do feel like a foreigner when I first moved here. Um, but I think after five, six years, it did become more multicultural. You have more people uh, coming to Switzerland, even that more than before. So I think that after five, six years, I do feel like um, I'm more integrated. So what is then the biggest boundary you have, which makes you not feel at home here? I think, again, when you live uh, Zurich, then you, my perception so far as the, I found the society extremely conservative. And then to my beliefs or my life experience, I am more like uh, worldwide open for cultures and ways of thinking and religions and stuff and maybe that's why. Okay, very very interesting fact. What is then the most important thing to make you feel at home? I think my family otherwise than that. If I will have my family here then I will feel, I mean here in Zurich, I will feel at home for sure. So today we have here with us Abi. Nice to meet nice. you Abi. Where are you from? I'm Indian. Ah, from India. And how long do you already live in Switzerland? 12 years. 12 years, wow. And can you say that you feel at home in Switzerland? No, no, I don't think so. I can explain if that's okay. Well, I mean, like, it's, it's a nice country. That's why I'm living here for 12 years already now. But it's not a country where you feel welcome all the time. I live a little outside of Zurich, where it's a small village, 700 people. There, the community is a little bit more tight, so which is good. Everybody knows everybody kind of a thing. But when you're in Zurich, I mean, or in the bigger cities in Switzerland, you do come across a lot of instances where you kind of feel a little bit isolated. It's not really easy to connect with people. 
You can have Swiss friends. I have very good Swiss friends, but it takes a very long time to make Swiss friends. How many years did it take you to feel at home in Switzerland? Now for me it's two years I'm here. So I guess, yeah, I start feeling at home now. I mean, leaving aside my wife and, uh, you know, the love experience. <laughs> now I start feeling like, uh, okay, this is my place. What was the biggest boundary for you to feel at home here in Switzerland? Uh, I think it's language. <laughs> Learning the language and the culture. Um, for me, who is really bad at learning languages, it's really hard to get into that and also like have regular conversation with the locals. Mm -hmm. I think that's the biggest boundary for me. Yeah. What is the most important thing for you to make you feel at home? I think it's knowing that you have friends and family here, that mm -hmm. people that you can rely on. Um, I think it's everywhere you move to. It's okay. yeah, the people around you that you know you have supports when you need help. And you have that now, so you feel at home. Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, no, I think that's the most important. Fun? Efrain, nice. Where are you from? India. Ah, great. And how long do you already live in Switzerland? Two years. For two years. And do you feel at home in Switzerland? Uh, it's kind of, not uh, fully much, because India is my country. But that's why I love my India. But here I am working, so I love this Switzerland also. So you would not say that you feel at home here in Switzerland? Ah, because I love missing some of my festivals from belongs to India. But mm. in Switzerland, Switzerland is kind of some certain limitations. So you you like miss these festivals from India, but you also have them kind of here, but they are kind yeah, of, it's kind of yeah. like a smaller version, a copy uh, yeah, or something. Yeah. Today we have here with us Pablo. Pablo, nice to meet you. And where are you from? Barcelona, Spain. Ah, from Spain. Great. So Pablo, do you feel at home in Switzerland? Well, I have to say that I was first living in Geneva for three years. And there it was easier because I had uh, French. I have this uh, difference, uh, this bar barrier in the language, mm -hmm. which makes me uh, feel a bit more distant. Mm -hmm. And it's harder to connect with local people. Mm -hmm. But I think little by little, I'll, I'll start to feel at home. So you felt more at home in Geneva than here? Yeah. yeah. And how long do you already live here in Zurich? Uh, for two months. Three years in Geneva. And in Geneva, when you lived there for three years, did you feel at home in the end? Yeah, in the end I did. Today we are here with us. Annika. And where are you from? From Germany. And how long do you already live in Switzerland? I guess 12 years. And do you feel at home in Switzerland? Now I do, but it actually took me a very long time. And how much time does it take to feel at home in Switzerland? For at least uh, seven years, I guess. For me, you could think it's not that different uh, from Germany, but the people are very different. And what is the biggest boundary to make you feel at home in Switzerland? I guess making new friends. I think it's very difficult here because people are living in very small circles and to find your own circle is very uh, difficult. And language, was there any barrier for you? Because Swiss people, they do understand German very well, but uh, they don't like the language. So. The high German, you mean? Yeah, the high German. And <laughs> every time they hear that you're not from uh, Switzerland, they, are, they automatically um, do a step back. Oh, really? You, you have yeah, experienced Not everybody, it. but a lot of them. Oh, oh, okay. Why do you feel at home after seven years? What is like the mi most important thing that makes you feel at home? I, I can speak Swiss German now, mm -hmm. so people don't notice that I'm not from here. Over time, you make new friends and uh, you get a new life. Uh, yeah, is there a specific day where you were like, wow, now I feel at home? Good, very good question. When I finished my apprenticeship uh, and I had my own life and I made my own money, then I felt like now I'm, I'm at home. How long do you already live in Switzerland? Uh, more than 10 years. More than 10 years. And do you say that you feel at home in Switzerland? Yes, I didn't like to live in Italy. And oh. when I came here, I found more peace. I come from Milano. I, I love cities. Uh, Milano, it's really lively. Uh, but here there is a bit less pollution and uh, less chaos than in Milano. But of course, I miss also Italy. Uh, all the good things in Italy, the fashion of Milano. <laughs> How long do you think it will take you to feel at home here in Switzerland? Or will you ever feel at home in Switzerland? I need to spend one year more, then I can be more comfortable in, in Switzerland compared to India. What do you think is the biggest boundary of feeling at home here in Switzerland? In India, rules and regulations not followed by the peoples, but here is rule and regulations very strict. So what do you say is the most important thing for you to be able to feel at home in Switzerland? The bring more friends and the family members then you can feel comfortable in Switzerland. What do you miss the most about India? Yeah, in the first food and my I am uh, Muslim, Islamic, so I most love the mosque uh, and all some Islamic uh, foods and Islamic cultures and all like that. So what is the biggest boundary then for you to make you feel at home? So get 
being friends with local people, I it's, would say. And it's, really the biggest, like, uh, it's, a, uh, it's the biggest, create, the most create, important thing, uh, no? Creating like the, the group of friends I would have at home, the same group of friends uh, in the city where I live. Being only like expert community. Ah, so you mean that having Swiss local friends is one of the most important things for you to make you feel for, at home? For me, yes. So I would say that right now I have the, bur the, the problem that I don't speak Swiss German. Uh -huh. So I, have, I, I think I should try to learn Swiss German and then I'll start from there. And is there anything you miss from Spain? Oh yeah, that's that's all it happens. <laughs> I mean, Spain. Uh, she's from Spain, so in Spain you have the food, the weather. I have my family, so of course I miss things. What is the biggest boundary you have that you cannot feel at home in Switzerland? I think making friends is very tricky here. It's very difficult, but it's it's basically you can build a lot of superficial relationship, but when you really want to have like deep connections, it's tricky in Switzerland. I mean, it's it's very unlike, for instance, you're from Spain. So Spain is one of the countries I keep going back to all the time, right? Um, Italy is another country. It's mainly because it's much more easier to connect with people. I mean, they are welcoming by default. So then my question is, what does it need for you to make you feel at home? I guess a little bit warmth from the people. Right. Warms from the people and yeah. you don't get that so much from the Swiss. Yes. <laughs> and yeah. uh, how many years did it take you then to feel at home in Switzerland? As I came here, I felt already in paradise. I felt really good here since the beginning. The only thing I, I struggled was a bit the language and the weather that is so changeable. I, I wasn't used to. Do you have any Swiss friends today or mainly expat friends? No, I have both. Doesn't uh, pass a day that I don't meet someone that oh. I know. And is there anything you miss from Germany or from Colombia? From Germany, the prices. <laughs> okay. And from Colombia, um, the spontaneity from people. Like Spontaneous. Yeah, like, mm. you know, let's go tomorrow to this, to that, then, okay, let's do it. Um, but if not, then it's like you need to plan it and everything. You, you know it well. Do you have any example yeah, how society is more conservative? I mean, you can look at the tax laws for example and also the laws in terms of marriage and also the elton side uh, uh, parental relief i think then you can see specific examples how conservative the society still is is in my opinion if you get married then you pay more tax yes it's a hochzeitstrafe uh, or something you know, like uh, wedding uh, penalty uh, penalty yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you don't get two pensions then you get mm. 1.5 yes that automatically forces even though it's not written who should stay at home biologically uh -huh. The woman will stay more at home, you Exactly. Think. So these yes. kind of regulations make me think that the society is still in a way designed for women to stay, which I disagree with. And this is a conservative way of looking at society still. What is maybe the most important thing for you to make you feel at home here? I think now my family here. Mm. I think it's my home now. So your family lived already before here, yes. I guess. 20, 20 years ago. And what would you say is maybe the biggest boundary when you came now from Peru here to Switzerland to make you feel at home? I think the, the friends is, is, is very different to go and uh, another places and and how to say ser amigos. And to make friends? Yes, to make friends, yeah. I think that. <laughs> That's very, it's a boundary for you. Yes, hard. yes. Okay. Is there anything you miss from Peru? Uh, well, the food <laughs> and my brothers. What is the biggest thing you are missing from Canada or from Taiwan? Food. I think oh, okay. food is very important for me. Again, like I think when I first moved here, there's very little choices, very little choices. Um, the quality, I would think it's okay. Um, you don't have a lot of choices, mm. um, but yeah. There's I a lot of cheese, huh? I like cheese though, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I, I can't have it every single day. So it's like really the choice and- um, Not like the a quality. Swiss, huh? they can have yeah. it every day. And it's a coffee, <laughs> exactly. And also the coffee, I think coffee scene is uh, much better now. It was very interesting today to go to the streets of Zurich and ask other experts if they're actually feeling at home here living in Switzerland. And what we found very enriching and enlightening was that other experts said that they don't feel at home even after living here for such a very long time. While other experts said again they feel at home even living here for a very very short time. 
So you can see there is a big difference. But when it comes to the point what they need to feel at home, it came kind of to the same points, which is friends and family. A lot of people need friends and family to make them feel at home in the place they live. Or love, as one person said, the girlfriend, which was <laughs> very cute and very lovely, we think, in our opinion. On the other hand, you can say that for expats, it seemed to be quite difficult also to make them feel at home, because for them it is important to make friends here. And it is quite difficult to make friends here in Zurich or Switzerland, and especially with locals. With expats, it's kind of okay, but if you really want to feel at home and not just live in the expat bubble, you may need to find, find some local Swiss friends. And this is very difficult. And therefore, for some people, it seemed to be difficult to ever feel here like at home because you didn't make these kind of connections. And we are interested in what does it need for you to make you feel at home? And do you feel at home in the place where you're currently living? With this said, please like this video, hit the subscribe button and share this video with your loved ones who are interested maybe in this content. Thank you very much and see you next week.